Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's time for another light novel review. Welcome once again, guys. This is going to be on If the Villainess and the Villain Met and Fell in Love. This is volume one brought to you by Yen An. A copy was sent to me to review for you guys. Um, I do have the manga, not with me, but I do have the manga as well. Uh, so I'm trying to read a, a little bit, um, a, a little bit more than what uh, the manga is. But um, to this point, we've had quite a, a freak out in the in the characters here and uh, amongst them but uh we do have uh a lot of things going on in the story i will keep it brief just because i know i will also do a, a manga review so i'll give more information there but it's a very good story i'm gonna i'm gonna say um villainous uh trope is its own thing but um villain and villainous falling in love a whole different uh subject on its own so before anything else guys if you haven't done so by now make sure you subscribe to my, to my channel give some love by comment liking and sharing you guys can follow me on social media and other places so check me out there uh, i do appreciate all the love and support that you guys have shown my channel uh continue supporting the channel by checking out the different things that i'm posting um share this video because it helps the company but it also helps me and if you're looking for, to where to buy manga there is a link in the description below Okay, so uh, we get two two of these cuties, and really the main main uh, beginning is about Bridget, the girl, the villainess, and um, she belongs to a noble family. Which, uh, being from a noble family, there is high expectations for her. Um, but she ends up bonding with a spirit that ended up being no name, very weak. Uh, so when she goes to school, she pretty much is a nobody. And she ends up being engaged to the prince, um, basically changing her life around, being basically the the eyes of the people you know and not always in a good way because uh at some point the prince tells her that he likes girls that are dumber than him very weird way but she ends up acting not herself and people don't like her and she doesn't even like herself and he ends up dumping her and that's basically kind of the beginning of her story she becomes the villain because no one at this point likes her and now the people that did like her don't like her anymore and the reason is because she's not being nice to one of his new friends who is now slowly becoming the new fiance right um so she does take the role of being the um the villainess and she goes with it she she actually since she was uh young had a dream to uh study spirits and she's like i'm, I'm just gonna do that go back to it now in her journey of becoming the woman that she is now she meets the guy yuri now yuri uh uh he is feared by most because of his abilities he's top in the class very smart um he starts coming in as a character as very much um what's the word um he he doesn't believe that she is actually trying hard i guess to change um and really not change but go back to, to who she was uh, he doesn't know who she was so he just assumes that she is a little ditzy girl trying to figure out life now that she has no fiance and they end up in this agreement where she uh tells them like hey i can do better than you in the next exam and they basically go on this deal that they they that she's gonna do better so um things happen essentially she takes the exam and um in the sidelines we have two villains that are definitely the villains which is the prince and his new play toy uh both of them trying to ruin the life of bridget um why just they don't want her around um the girl doesn't want bridget to outshine her she doesn't want her to be better than her being that she's on the new play toy of the prince so um she assigns another girl to basically um 
make her fail in this exam and that doesn't turn out too well because she still ends up doing well but she doesn't do as well as she could have done which then Yuri finds out and it that becomes a whole mess on its own and then secondly the prince himself is trying to get her to quit quit the school um and they basically want to run her off because they think that she she can't do it now she is a go get her like she is thrown a lot of things throughout the series that would have made people leave to be honest um here's a good little scene there at towards the end of the volume um that you know makes it makes sense it makes sense that she you know they don't like her she basically don't want to, wants to be in anyone's toes so she doesn't really do anything about it and that kind of makes yuri even more to defend her um now the spirit that yuri does have of uh, this spirit right here first class she does notice that uh bridget actually has a spirit that um is a lot stronger than she thinks it is and that turns the story around quite a bit um, but yeah, there's a lot of characters, guys. Uh, so, but here are the main ones. They do a pretty good job. Uh, there is uh, the new play toy and the prince there in the side, and then we have our two main characters. We have the girl who sabotages the test. This is the president of the class where Bridget is. He is also led by the prince to basically kick her out. Uh, uses Ariel, uh, a spirit of wind, to, to basically um, intimidate her at one point. So, um, yeah, love, love, love these uh, full art uh, pages that we get. It does basically add more characters to it. Fortunately, we don't really get a real poster like we usually do, but oh well, it is what it is. Very nice book. Uh, I do recommend it. Recommend the story itself. I'll be reading the manga. Not sure to what point the manga goes, um, but I'll be reading the first volume. I'm not sure if I got the second volume with me, but um, if they do offer it, I'll, I'll try to read that one as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I do appreciate all the love and support. Like I said, I'm trying to get more of these out for you guys. Uh, light novels, a little harder to release, but we'll be releasing them as much as possible so i do appreciate all the love and support for those uh make sure you follow me on social media guys and guys like always don't be strangers see you guys